Good news, everyone. I'm quite possibly about to lose my first fort. Um, because I was... I wasn't really prepared for a goblin seed, which is happening. Uh, I think they're around here at the bottom. I don't see them yet, but I... It paused right on this frame, so I... I made this thing in an evil environment, and there's not... <laughs> I didn't think there were goblins, but I guess maybe they just don't show up on the thing. Oh, there they... Now they're here! I swear there did not used to be goblins in this place, but hey. Maybe we just didn't discover them. I don't really know how the civilization thing works. I think my first fort just doesn't have goblins, so I've, like, not gotten used to how they work. But yeah, what I was doing was building this entirely too big, honestly. I should have made it about half the size. But I wanted to make it big enough that trees could kind of grow in the middle here. So, like, this is a 3D perspective. So, like, this is the ground, this is up, and I was making a bunch of walls. And I wanted to make it too high so that they could, um, kind of put, you know, trees could grow in there. But, um... <laughs> Doubt that that was not my biggest fear. I I only trained one military squad because I I hadn't gotten around to making a second one. These are my military dudes though. They're they're pretty good. So this is uh, Sharas Rigathkabin. She is interested after learning about fighting. That's good because you're about to use that. She's quite durable. That's that's very good. So I only have one squad, and I think they're okay. There's a child in here for some reason, so that's cool. They're mace dwarves. I hope they have their maces with them. They're in the middle of practicing right now. Um, so I've been I've been busy with a couple of other things. There's a bunch of troglodytes, literal troglodytes, wandered in through my little cave thing here. I was trying to wall it off, and my dwarves are idiots for some reason. And um, let me just cancel all of this crap. They um, they wouldn't make some of these walls here, and I was trying to. I, it's a pretty small area. It's only three Z tiles high. And I was just gonna wall it up, and they walled off the first floor perfectly. They walled off the second floor a little less than perfectly. Like this area right here, I gave them perfect access to it, but it didn't work. So I made a few cage traps, so I got one troglodyte, but there's like a lot of them. And I don't know what happened down here, but that's... That's not the primary fear at the moment, because the primary thing at the moment is... We have goddamn goblins, so I only have... Wait, why is there nine? Oh shit. Oh shit, there's only nine? Um, okay. It's time for some mandatory conscription. Uh, we're gonna have some total idiots. And we're gonna have to create a new squad. Captain of the Guard. Sh sh sure. Leather, what, whatever armor you want, baby. Do, do, do any of these people have relevant skills? No. All right. <laughs> That is unfortunate. Must assign commander first. Oh, right. So, don't I have a captain of the guard or something? Oh, no, I probably didn't. Um, no relevant skills. Oh, welcome to the military, ladies and gentlemen. You are now part of that. And uh, equipment. Uh, individual choice. Everybody should have a weapon. I don't have... <laughs> I got a little lazy because I was so busy trying to make that stupid thing, and I didn't make... I have a lot of silver maces, what I've been making. I got a lot of doors. Uh, but... <laughs> I was so busy, like, trying to deal with the evil environment, and I didn't really... The ho Wait, why is there eight? Oh, I think I stole one of the dudes from that other thing for here. Alright. So you guys need to move here. The military menu is a little bit complicated. It's not really that complicated, it's just like, there's two separate menus for it basically, and I don't really see why it's like that. But yeah, you, you're both active now. So basically what I've done is told my civilians to panic and go downstairs, while I've told my military duders. Um, don't drop all of your stuff. Why are they carrying things? Okay, okay, hold up. Cancel all of this. Also, some trees were growing in here while I was constructing, and like it counted as a collapse. It, 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 because I don't. Why would it ever collapse? Because I'm building things. I think the physics for collapse, collapse, and um, collapsements. I don't know. I think I think it's fucked. I, I think it's stupid. Uh, I should probably just turn those off. There's, uh, there's a bug in my main fort where there's this area on the surface that just collapses uh, at least once a year. And it, 
It doesn't make any damn sense. So yeah, the good news about Dwarf Fortress is, I mean, they are dwarves. They will... They will, um... Okay, okay. I hope this is all. I hope this is it. I hope it's just- if it's six goblins, I think I can deal with it. A dingo! Well, that dingo's gonna eat our frickin' babies, so that's a shame. But yeah, these are the troglodytes I killed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, seven, and we killed a troll too. The troll was pretty easy. It only took one dingo I had to kill the troll. It was kind of funny, they move really fast when they're fighting. I wasn't prepared for it. So where- wait, hold up. Oh crap, they're not done spawning in. Okay, that's what I kind of figure, figured and feared. Um, Sinam, stable worker. All right, wait, first, did I order both of them to move? This is why I, I don't usually talk while I'm doing this. Okay, station B, okay. These guys need to move here. Hopefully they get their stuff first, because these guys, I just kind of told them, hey guys, you're, you're the military now, have fun. Yeah, I'm just gonna station them out outside and this is gonna be a lot of blood real real soon Okay, get, go everybody inside everybody inside all those little panicking faces. Those are the dwarves. They should all be running What are you doing? What are you idiots doing? Oh my god. What are you doing? What are you doing? What no job get inside. That's your job What are you doing? Why are they carrying shit get inside? I think most of them have sense Drop off items accessible. That's not important right now. Why are you not running for your lives? Okay, hold on. Did I did I fuck up? Did I? Okay. Civilian is going to. Is, is, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Wait! No! 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 I forgot to disable the old burrow. Okay. Now they'll all rush inside. There. There we go. Okay. I was like, what? Okay. If you see any G's, well, yell. But this is a pre-recorded video, so you can't help. Forbidden. So now they're all rushing downstairs. Troglodyte. Oh, there's, are there's, I think there's more invading troglodytes, though. So wouldn't it be fun? Okay, I think they're just wandering around in the cave. Uh, let me, did I make a door? I think I forgot to do it. Wait. This is a different section of the cave, so yeah, I think that's safe. I think I breached two regions of the cave. Yeah, so those are in a whole other area, I think. Or maybe not, I don't know. Oh, this door. Okay, you know what? This door is forbidden. So, we'll worry about that later. So, everybody inside. So these mace dudes, the, 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 the red guys, those are mace guys. And they will kill your family. Oh my gosh, that one has her baby. Um, <laughs> So mother dwarves are interesting because they um, they take their babies with them no matter what they're doing, and like only the mother can care for them apparently. Oh oh, there they are, there they are. Okay, here's the here's the goblins. All right, let's look at the goblin. A medium-sized humanoid driven to cruelty by its evil nature. His hair is extremely long. He is tall and muscular. His eyes are red. Eyes are wide set. He has a scratchy voice. That's a goblin right there. They, all, they have all these weird descriptions, like, his head is somewhat tall. Alright, which one's the leader? I think, I think if you kill their leader, they panic. So, I don't know how you tell which one is the leader. Does it, does it, eh, don't know. Oh, and I caught an ogress. I don't know if you can, like, breed them. Dang Terror Renowned. That's that's the goblin name right there. Dang Terror Renowned. Let's look at him. Can I look? No? Alright, anyway, what I really need to do is go to my squads. Uh, squad menu A. Kill this dude. Helmed leaders. You kill that dude. So I think the for guy in front is quite possibly the um, the leader. So what I'm gonna do is tell them to kill that guy, and I'm hoping when when the leader. I've heard that the goblins are a little cowardly. So when their leader is, goes down, they um, they run. They're really slow. There's the dwarves. They're, they're coming. They're coming. Yeah, kick their asses. 
We got him wounded. Oh, dead dwarf already. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, dang. Okay. I think they're still fighting. All right, so I'm going to read the combat report in a second. Oh, God. Oh, this, those twos are bones. Those little twos. Those are bones flying out. Oh, we got one goblin. Oh, damn. That is a lot of dead dwarves. Um, and mostly alive goblins. Oh, boy. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I don't think goblins can open things. I don't think goblins can open, like, uh, forbidden things. So, I think if I just leave it like that. Oh, this guy was late. Whoa! Oh, that's an arrow, right. Um, I think they're all dead. I think they're all dead. I have one. I have one dude. Oh, no. All right, let's see what happened. I think... Oh my gosh, I think most of them are still alive. Oh, that's bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven of them. We only killed three. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this is bad. This is real bad. Um, what's going on with this one? His left upper arm is broken. The neck is torn open. Her head is torn open. <laughs> Her nose is mangled beyond recognition. Ah, it's a goblin. Don't gather this. Don't don't try to gather this stuff. Uh, let's see the combat reports. So, uh, like I said, the, the combat reports are pretty gruesome. So, if you have a squeamish stomach, you might not want to read this, or you might want to mute the sound for a bit because I'm going to read some of these. Flying silver arrow strikes the recruit in the upper body, tearing apart the muscle and tearing apart the heart. Oh, wait, was that the, the recruit? Oh, oh, that was my one. That was yeah, dead. Uh, lodged firmly in the wound. Death! This is truly horrifying! The, the goblin is panicking because of death. Flying silver arrow strikes the mace dwarf in the lower, lower right leg, tearing the muscle and bruising the bone. Yeah. Death is all around us! This is truly horrifying! You came here to kill us and you're like, oh no, death is so scary! Well, shoot. Um... Just kind of wandering around. I, I even made this bridge. Uh, I made a bridge. I I don't know how to lower it though. I think you gotta. I think you gotta hook it up to a thing. Let me. I do have this door. Can I just seal this door, Parker? Honey, not now. So forbid passage on the door. I forbid. I don't know how levers work. Forbid passage to that door too. Um, can I can I build a thing? How do I? Uh, I think they're in trap components. Lever. Do they have to be on the same like Z level. They better not be. But I think I restricted them to around this thing. So let's build a lever there. Alright, so all my dudes, let me, let me show you the burrow. The burrow is basically all of these floors. I'm so sorry about the flashing, it's really hideous. Wait, 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 no, not this burrow. Okay, so the burrow, I think I can expand this burrow to, um, my lowest level so I think I can restrict them to that this is let's name this burrow um, name burrow panic okay so they're in the panic burrow so hopefully oh what is that guy well one of my duders is alive what's he doing Oh, he's going out. Oh no, he's going out! Oh, he's, he's, there's too many. What? After polite discussion with local rivalries, Nish Boatsweb has claimed the position of the king of the labor of discoveries. Wait, what? I have a king? 
I think the goblins killed the king and I have been elected the king? What? King, I don't have time for your shit right now, king. They're trying to kill us. What the? Okay. Yeah, he's already he's already crippled. So let's see what he's trying to do. Um, the recruits. Yeah, that gray color means that's a recruit. I probably shouldn't have bothered with the recruits. I didn't realize quite how strong goblins were. They're like they're goblins. You expect goblins to be like little trash mobs, but they're you know they can be kind of trashy if you have like super well trained duders. I uh, do not have those. All right, so. Everybody is in. I'm just gonna, emergency training time, so. <laughs> shoot, I don't know if I can like show you, like, I, it'll probably take a while, oh God, I. <laughs> oh God. Um, so this one, make barracks. Can you, can you let them both in like, can they both train in one room? Because I kind of already have train individual, I, yeah. Shit. <laughs> this is how I figured my first fort would end, but I guess it's how my second fort will end. So did they make that lever? Okay, 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 okay. What I think maybe I can do, add a new task, link up a bridge, assign medstone mechanisms. All right. I don't know how linking works. Can you like li remotely link a thing? S? What's S? Oh, it's suspended because they can't, yeah, they can't reach the thing um, because of the burrows. Um, I think they might get caught in the cages. Oh, sh oh, sh I think he's running. I think he's running. I think he's panicked. I caught the other goblin. Oh, shit. I forgot. I made cage traps. I probably should have. Oh, my God. I think I could have let them just run into the cage traps, and I wouldn't have had had to have them kill, like, 10 of my 20 of my dwarfs. Uh, I, I figured they just wouldn't get caught in the trap. No, there's a goblin. Son of a bitch. I'm stupid. I, I, I didn't think cage traps would be that effective. Is, is she? Are they running? I think it's running! Holy shit, this, the siege token wore off. I feel like goddamn. Cage traps are apparently the best thing ever. But. <laughs> Alright. Well. I, I, I thought I was gonna lose the fort, so. That was. Still better than expected. Wait, do I. Wait, what? Oh, we're a wrestler. Oh wait, no, that's from the other thing. All right. All right, are both things filled? Yeah, get a stone crafter in there. All right. We're gonna have two. We're gonna really train these dudes at this time. All right. Military alerts. Panic is over, but you all need to train forever. I'm gonna make a second thing of barracks, but. I think maybe it's too cramped in there. It's like barely even enough tiles for both sets of people. Crap, and I need to... One thing I don't like with the military is that it takes... It's really hard to like specify like what kind of weapon for them to use. Like I need to go through all of them and specify a steel mace, steel mace, steel mace, etc. Um, kind of sucks, so... Give water, no water source. I think, wait, did, did, did I not cancel the, the uh, alert? Yeah, you're not, you guys can leave now. You guys can leave. What's your problem? Oh, 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 oh. I, I haven't dealt with a forbidden door in a while, so that's, that's my bad. Um, unforbid. All right, so. Cage traps are great, that is what I have learned. And also, train your military duders early. <laughs> Three cage traps just did what ten of my dwarves couldn't. Went insane. Oh no! Oh wait, I think that was my strange mood. Oh yeah. 
I don't know what that dude wanted, but yeah, I had bigger business to deal with. Yeah, he's gonna get beaten to death real quick. I think he is already dead. Oh no, <laughs> everybody's just beating on his ass. Yep. <laughs> Went insane and dead. So let's see what happened to him. The, he was fighting the mayor. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> he got into an argument! The trapper punches the woodcrafter in the head with his left hand, bruising the muscle through the leather hood. The force twists the neck. Force twists the neck. Oh, he just punched him in the face until his neck, like, exploded. Death. I am not upset by this. I don't really... The, the way the combat log is... is like, you would think the last entry in the combat log would contain, like, the death from the fight, but it often doesn't, and it never tells you which wound was fatal. Gruesome wounds does not scare me. Like, they just... Like, oh my gosh. Like, ten people were just beating the crap out of this guy, and, like, his neck was twisting and snapping. Alright, now they're all filtering out of here. Well, that's interesting. I guess, I guess I need to finish this garbage up. And, uh... That was probably suspended, yeah. Um... <laughs> going to get all of the dead! So this is all the dead guys, and they're kind of going to pick up all of their stuff. Well, that's a shame. We're gonna have some sad dwarves here for a while. I, do I have enough burial stuff? Probably not. We're probably gonna need to make some. Oh, and I have a king to worry about. After all, after all of that, I need to go and make... Uh, make rock coffin now, and hell, make some wood coffins too, just lots of caskets. Um, what else do I need? So, I think to get better, I think I need better equipment. I think I have enough silver, I need armor, so, can I make bronze? Where is my thing? Wood furnace. Yeah, make some charcoal. I think all of the things got canceled, so. Weapons, armor. Do I have bronze? I don't think I do. Uh, let's start with the helms. I bet it's gonna cancel that job. Where's my wood furnace? I'm gonna make ash at that one. Yeah, I gotta redo all of my things. Um. Smith's Forge, Bronze Helm. I think I'm gonna... Does metal material, or does, does weapon material matter for, for crossbows? Or can I just make like, you know, bone crossbows? I mean, it's the bolt that's really doing the damage. What is this at symbol? Oh, that's the guy that died. I unforbid all of that. So after battle, everything is kind of forbidden, so they um, don't rush into battle, like to collect items, because that's what they would do otherwise. So this freaking look at look at look at this mess. There is a dead mill. Oh wait, no, that's not. That's the guy carrying that guy. Ogre leather tunic. Like the good news is the goblins bring lots of items for you to like steal, basically. <laughs> Pool of horde filth. The pea colored stuff is, uh... Oh, it's a castle. That's this guy's left foot! That's his upper right, probably, arm. Upper, right hand. Upper left arm. Oh my gosh. This guy's just kind of got hacked to bits. So now we're gonna have a lot of dead dwarves in our, uh, stockpiles. Or in our, um, refuse dump. Oh, oh no! Oh no! They're just putting him in the dump because they don't have enough coffins. Oh, shoot. Use for burial, yes. Wait, what? No. Use for burial. Oh, those are beds. Ah, oh, shoot. Yeah, I need... Do I have... Do I have more coffins? Uh, and is burial receptacle needs coffin. Crap. You guys need to... Mandate the construction of certain goods. King? We just got attacked by goblins. I don't have time to make you, like, a tin, like dog toys or whatever you want we need to make lots of coffins really fast 
If you don't make, uh, if you don't bury the dead fast, they uh, come back as ghosts. And we have a lot of dead, so I'm just gonna make. I'm just gonna tell everybody to make caskets. You really should have like an inordinate amount of coffins, so that no matter how many people die, you can just put them away real quick. I am inaccessible. Plant item and tomb. What are you talking about? What's this? Equipment mismatch. What's happening? Oh, it's the dwarf. It's the a caravan from blah blah blah. I think that's our dwarf people. Um, what are these guys doing? They're thirsty. Go get some water. Where, where are these guys going? Now drink water. What are you? Are you getting these? What are you doing? You guys need to drink. I don't. I don't understand what these idiots are doing. Zone activity orders. Let's, let's, let's turn those off for now. Merchants have arrived and are unloading their goods. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad they didn't show up in the Goblin Siege. If, if merchants die for any reason, it's blamed on you. So, like, if the Goblins killed these guys, my civilization would be like, Oh, how dare you? My dudes died. You killed them. It's like, no, it was the Goblins. And they don't believe you. I, I hate how many... There's much to share. Like, Goblins? You could have told me about the Goblins. All right, what do I need? I hate this menu. Um... I just need cloth, you know? I, it's, it's the one thing I never have much of. Large cut gem, metal bar. You know what, give me... Give me lots of... Give me just lots of steel. Oh, and flux stone. Can I get flux stone, please? Oh no, stone is heavy. Eh, nah. Look over documents, blah, I don't care. I hate how many text boxes there are for like no information. Yes, yes, I, it, that just confirms the same information. That's so much dumb stuff. All right, trade goods. <sighs> well, the, the excitement's over. I guess I'm just playing Dwarf Fortress at this point. Um, it sucks so much that I can't stream this, but if yeah, Medicom's just garbage. Anyway, though, that's your daily dose. Well, not daily, but that's your dose of Dwarf Fortress for now. Uh, like I said, I can't stream, so I think what I'm going to be doing is just, if something exciting starts to happen, I'll start streaming, or recording, not streaming, and uh, I'll put up a little video, like little updates, so hopefully that was entertaining. <laughs>